Hi guys, welcome back to the Outer World. Today we're going to be continuing uh, taking down or reclaiming the array station, the kind of like radio station. We've just convinced these people to fight. I hope they don't die. <laughs> we'll do our best to reload if they do. Let us do this. Fox Radio to head. Said I'm to follow you. Provide whatever support you need. If those bastards start shooting, we'll join in. Awesome. I gotta warn you, my girl Sunshine here is a tad trigger happy. Of course, me and her will follow your lead. Just wanted you to know we wouldn't begrudge you of any violent inclinations. <laughs> no need to wait for me after you. Yeah, sit tight, I guess. I don't, yeah. Whatever you need. So she'll sell, she'll help me if when, when shit gets real. Got it. Let's do it. Let's save now. To see us. No, there's, you got it. <laughs> Correct, hopefully. Unless it's not the case. In that case, well, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> hopefully it'll work out. Do, do, do. The, they do have robots, which is why my shotgun should come in handy. Uh, if only a little. Yes. Sorry, doggy. Listen. You got it, Captain. Oh, wow, that thing was on in the air in seconds. We're gonna do one of these. Do 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 Get past armor. Nice hit. Uh, yep, shoot him in the face. Yep. Dead. Lovely jubbly. Uh, focus on the other person. No, you got him good. Pravati, hit him dead. Well done. Pressing forward and all that. Do, 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 do. I'm going to be looting. Oh, they're pushing forward right now, the other people, so we best be careful. Hiya. Bye, ya. I guess I could just shoot you the rest of the way. There we go. Thanks, guys. Help me. Help me. Kill it. <laughs> it's on me. I'm not built for this. This is your guys' job. Dreads, you say? Do, 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 do. Oh, shitty shit. You guys got wrecked. Hello. How dare you hurt my people, you bastard. Alright, time to fight uh, my way. Also, ow! Very painful. Should have also more or less killed you dead. Shoot! There we go. He's extra blind. I almost missed. You're still alive. Well done. Very durable face. There you go. Hey guys, uh, Pravati, people, <laughs> my my whole whole system. I need you. <laughs> I need you back in the fight, and that's why I want more uh, uh, durability for them. Because uh, right now they're not that uh, dense, and uh, I need density. I need them to be more healthy so that they don't die. Uh, there are some abilities that whenever I heal myself, they get like 20% of that healing, which is not good at all. <laughs> it's not a lot, comparatively. So, yeah. Also, I hope I didn't miss looting anything. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff, so I think it would be okay. No, he's... Hiram must have sealed the door. He's... He spooks easy. Mm hmm I don't think it's a spook thing. I think it's a smart thing. You got a bunch of enemies. Might as well do what's the smarter thing and seal the goddamn door. Enter! All right, so we did that. Not, not the most easy thing. Again, I should have probably gotten my companions to wait down with me while I was looting and not to let them just go fight a marauder who is li lighting them up. But, you know, lessons learned to a degree, but there's so many enemies around. You may not realize this being as you're an outsider, but the blaring alarms indicate the station's on lockdown. Yeah, Hiram's like, hey, by the way, who are you? And please don't murder me. And I'm like, Hiram, it, it's all good. I get it. Attention is not to murder you in the slightest. Oh, please tell me. You, yep, you got it. Just gonna help you a little nice bit. Hit. Well done, guys. Well done. Get it. Light him up. I got so much stuff. Let's at least sell our junk. Well, let's reload, I guess. No. It's the elevator, but it ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we keep moving forward. Look for another way up. Mm -hmm. We'll talk to Hiram. He'll tell us what to do. It'll be a whole thing. Looting. Hold to sell junk. How? 
As well as, I think I have, oh god, I have so much trash. Good news is we have weapons that are now like around our level, which is very good. Yes, there's enemies up top side, there's all enemies around us, this whole thing. Oh, look, we can unlock this door. Bang. Get some tasty stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. I'll be back. <laughs> I knew there was something there. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone in here. Nope. Talk to Hiram. You out there. Whoever you are. Yes, yes, I can see you. Come here and talk to me. Face to intercom. Got it. I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? And you, Nioka. Mm. What are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. <laughs> also, he hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purple berry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. I need to see the information broker about... No, no, no. We'll deal with information-related business later. As I said, there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. <laughs> The Marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me the Broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of the Broker being a dumbass alternative. <laughs> what? Everyone calls me that, aside from you. Why me? <laughs> Speaking of, I'm working with uh, Berthold, whatever the damn thing is. C3 is ready to fight. Uh, yeah. Oh, now they'll take action. Mm. It's about time, I tell you. I'm up to my neck and Marauders in here, which, by the by, they were supposed to prevent. Mm -hmm. I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the Marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. Right. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. Got it. I'll see what I can do. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm, there is a way that you can do it with science. I don't know if I have enough science, but uh, we even even if we don't, we've proven that we can kill just as fine as the next guy. So we should be fine. <laughs> yes. Uh, but yeah, but there's a way that you can like turn on gas to like knock them unconscious. I don't think we have enough science to do that. Um, nor do I think we. I, I'm not sure, man. Again, I have like 30 or 40 skill points because I'm just like. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's necessary or what or what I want to invest in. Cause I, I don't know. Yeah, cause I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Best best way I could put it. To the elevator. Hiram has unlocked hey, it, I believe. Elevators to your right. Get ready. Got it. Alright, I can barely hear you, but the subtitles are on. <laughs> Thank God. Quick save. Let us fight. Death and taxes and this and that. I don't know what that means. But let us. There is a way. Okay, no, they're, they're off to the races. All right, guys. I was going to try to do the, the this the better way to where no one could die, but you all have decided to not do that. <laughs> so. I just really don't want you guys to die as well. All right, guys. Just slow down. Slow it down just a t okay no wow Bro, you guys don't fuck around. Hey Pravati? Can you guys can you guys get up there and fuck them up that way? Have you guys already found oh yeah you guys are already in your way. Alright guys. You know what? I believe in you. Knock them on their ass just so they, they have a better chance of survival, Pravati. Also Neo could just double down. I gotta go loot downstairs. It's a whole thing. Alright. Good. Tell Hiram I'll be a minute. <laughs> there's loot to be had. Again, there's a way that you can turn on like the this this a steam or smoke or something or like gas gas basically and like infect them all and let them die that way. Uh, but apparently, uh, <laughs> they were just like, nope. Boom! If you do it this way, which I never done before, um, yeah, you just have a whole little militia <laughs> dive in. Uh, you feel a little bit less badass, being, you know, not a, a one-man army, but, you know, 
yeah, <laughs> I would have preferred it the other way, to be honest. I would prefer to be the one-man army and for him to be like, well, huh. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, companions, right? <laughs> They're great and powerful. I see, I think now we can even do it. Yeah, we can uh, activate the, the gas from this terminal. Apparently, we got the key card, though, which is nice, so you don't even need to high, have a high science. We did get level head, though, which I don't know what that means. Just maybe it gives you a buff in some way. I don't know what that buff would be. <laughs> I don't even know what to speculate on it. Hiram, I've done it. Hopefully, you'll give me a pat on the head and tell me what I want. Of course, that's not how this goes, but yeah, <laughs> hopefully. Also, well done. Forcing compliance is just busy work. Damn it. Okay, hello. Death and taxes are coming for you. The mama pistols, see? All right, bunch of weirdos. Bunch of weirdos. Definitely new for me. I've never uh, done this route again. So turns out that's what we're in now, I guess. Hello. Ah, Marauder free at last. I'll get the door. Do hurry on in. Yes, yes. Hello, Hiram. Slash whatever you wanted me to call you. <laughs> never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. Mm. And you got me my money's worth out of the C3s. I ought to have simply dealt with you in the first place. Think nothing of it. Oh no, my business is in trade. Not owing others the burden of a favor. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But, I admit, I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? I told you, I'm looking for a certain uh, information broker. I'm hoping this is me referring to him like, hey, I needed you. Ah, yes, our little chat on the intercom. You're looking for the premier broker for all of Monarch, which you knew was me, clearly. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late. But I fulfill my contracts, always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. Are you fibbing? Be honest. <sighs> I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. Why is that? I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. This is a problem. How? The bandwidth. There's too much blasted background noise. Nothing gets through but their local broadcasts. Which, of course, has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. Got it. Tell me more about the MSI and Iconoclasts. Graham and his iconoclasts believe anarchy is the way of life. Sanjar opposes it, as he's taking strides to corporatize Stellar Bay. Can't we cut them off from inside the station? No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extraplanetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. Yes, I'll talk some sense into them. You do that, I'll be here, waiting on the receiving end. Luck be with you. I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch of it, plus a vat of patience. Yes. Basically, what a... a kiss some boots <laughs> to, to, to get them to stop, uh, and then that's the way they... That's how they come together. Uh, yeah, we haven't t met the Iconic class. We have met MSI or whatever that is. That's basically Monarch, like there's a little city, the ones we've already done quests for them to help reestablish themselves within the board. So now uh, it's about helping the Iconoclasts and uh, helping them as well. So you're basically building up both powers so that they turn off the, the radio stations as a favor to you, not to them. Um, and then we kind of find a way to like meld them together. Uh, yeah, so so that's that's what the future will hopefully look like for us. Um, you're an information or broker. What is that? It's a person that tells deals and secrets. I don't. Want, he'll explain it, but I don't want. We, we're done. <laughs> we, I'm heading. Be a doll and shoot any marauders you spot on the way down. We'll do, my friend. We'll do. Also, let's go ahead and grab some of this. 
He has no issue with me stealing from him because I did save his ass, which is great. Also, 2,000 uh, some odd dollars is the price for your life, sure. You know, whatever. I'm not going to judge, although I am silent. Damn. I'm uh, judging a lot. some nimble fingers, Captain. Thanks, Nyoka. Again, my right ear apparently just doesn't work. Love it. They don't apply that at all, but sure. Uh, log, sure, 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 sure. Sure, 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 my best to grind out the side quests that do not matter. I think there are a couple that I think I will show you. There is one that kind of involves sissy pigs, which is kind of interesting, kind of sort of something like not a lot, but something <laughs> at the very least. Uh, but at the, for the most part, I think the next part will actually will be us. Um, yeah, because again, I, I, the companion quests, a lot of them are tied to a certain place that we haven't actually gotten to yet. Um, and I, uh, yeah, so I, I want to make it, I want to be able to just gun down one companion quest all the way through, uh, in one place sitting, rather than, uh, doing like a quarter of it and then leaving you guys on a part two, uh, where we're basically just waiting to get access to the final planet, which is Byzantium, uh, which is like a ritzy ritz kind of, uh, place. Uh, but for right now, uh, we are basically just trying to play the negotiator uh, on both the uh, Iconoclast and the MSI or whatever. Um, so yeah, I, basically when we come back, hopefully I'll have a thorough, a thorough understanding, and you guys can stop seeing that skill points available thing, uh, because I'll have un uh, I'll have already decided what we're going to invest in, because we're going to be doing side quests, which means that we're going to be leveling up even more, which means we are going to basically have to eventually put points into something because uh, right now I basically was I was worried that I was going to not have enough persuasion or whatever or lock picking or whatever but if I keep leveling up I eventually have like 50 skill points I'm like okay well now I can get mostly everything I don't have to wait to spend those points right uh, so anyways ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for your time hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your day uh, there's a subscribe button above me as well as two videos to my right the next time we will continue on the iconoclast 100% through and then do the other uh, MSI or whatever get them done too and call that good uh yes ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for your time you're lovely appreciate you and goodbye also if you like the video you're a fucking champion just i always want to say that because i forget to say it a lot of times thank you appreciate you going the extra mile and goodbye